Come on, old friend, we got some work to do. In this video, we're gonna go over why measuring your lawn and knowing your square footage is important, creating a lawn layout, and finally, measuring the lawn. Get your tape measures ready, it's time to get started. Hey guys and gals, welcome to Garage Gear, I'm JB. Measuring your lawn is a simple process. In fact, it's a one and done process. And those numbers will never change. Unless you modify your landscaping, put in a pool, or do something else that's pretty extravagant to your property. So why is measuring a lawn important or useful? Let's say that you are overseeding your lawn this fall. You're trying to save money and you're wondering if you should buy one bag of grass seed or two. Most products that you purchase for your lawn will have some kind of square footage rating on the bag. You measure your lawn and it comes up to exactly 10,000 square feet. You look at this 25 pound bag and you can see that it covers up to 10,000 square feet. Huh. Well, it looks like all you need is one then. Or let's say you're buying fertilizer for your lawn. You measure your lawn and this time let's say you have 7,000 square feet. Then you can go to the fertilizer aisle at Home Depot, Lowe's, etc. with confidence knowing that your lawn is 7,000 square feet and you need to buy that much to cover it. Most bags of fertilizer will cover areas that are usually 5,000, 10,000, or 15,000 square feet. In this case, this one bag of purely organic lawn food covers 5,000 square feet. To cover your 7,000 square feet, you're gonna need two bags, and you should have about half of one of these bags left over when you're done. If you wanna make smarter purchases, save some money, and maximize your results, then you must measure your lawn. Now let's talk about your lawn layout. For your lawn layout, there are two ways to go about it. You could try out measuremylawn.com. They have some pretty simple tools on their website. You could also do this on your phone. You type in your address, then you simply make boxes of your turf on your property. The site keeps a running total of each box in the corner, and then also calculates a grand total for you as well. And it's usually pretty close, within a couple of hundred square feet. What I like to do is a simple sketch out of my lawn on a piece of paper. I have taken some drawing classes in the past and I tend to finesse things a little bit, but all you need is a very simple drawing. A basic sketch will do just fine. Grab a piece of paper and a pencil. Time to take you to school. Then using the Google image of your house, simply stand in your yard and begin drawing the turf around the house. Keep it simple by keeping each piece of your property in easy, logical sections. This here is my front yard, side lot, back strip, my side yard. Down here this will be Parkway one, Parkway two, and Parkway three. And let's not forget I have another zone here by the pool. Now I'm gonna number each one of these sections so that way I can keep track better. This one down here will be number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. Inside the pool that'll be number six, seven, and eight. Then here at the bottom I'm gonna write down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. You wanna break your property down into some very simple zones or sections. That way when you're fertilizing, it's a piece of cake. And you know exactly how much turf is in that exact square foot area. So here's our tools of the day. We have our map, we have a pencil, and then I have a 25 foot tape measure. Just about every household has one of these and this will work just fine. Now if you have one of those measuring wheels that you can walk behind, that would be excellent for this case, but it's not really necessary. I will have one linked down below in the description. I'm also bringing a cone to mark off where my 25 foot mark is. So that way in case if I have to go past 25 feet, this will be where I left off. Time to measure. So now the calculation here on Parkway Zone 3 is really quite simple. It's length times width. That's all there is to it. Looking at nine feet. Jot that down nine feet. Here we are down at the other end and it was five lengths of the 25 foot tape measure, so that's 125 feet, plus an additional 10. So our grand total for the length is 135. So now we're gonna write that down. From here to here is 135 feet. 135 times nine, this makes this 1,215 square feet. Now you're just gonna continue measuring just like that all across the rest of the yard.
Here we go, back in the garage and I got the numbers. Here we go, zone one, which is this odd little shaped piece here in the front of my property. This piece, that's that zone right there, is 140 square feet. Zone two, the front, Parkway of my property is 770 square feet, and if we want to round that off to a nice even number, we'll call it 800. Zone three, which is the long parkway that I started with, is 1,215 square feet. If we round that off to an even number, we'll call it 1,200. Zone four, the big area that I love striping, this area comes out to 3,650 square feet. If I want to round that off, it's gonna be 3,500. Zone five, which is my big side lot, this is a garden bed right here with big trees. This comes down to 2,240 square feet, Round that off, we got 2,200. Zone six, which is this pool section right here. This is a small piece of turf. This one is only 222 square feet. Zone seven, which is this little back strip that backs up to my neighbor's property. This one is only 350 square feet. And last but not least, my side yard here on the other side of my house. Zone eight, this comes in at 1,708 square feet. Round that off to 1,700. My grand total is 10,295 square feet. If you want to round that off, we'll call it an even 10,000 square feet. Now when I did it on the website it came up at about 9,500 square feet so we're close but we're not dead on accurate. The best way to actually measure it is to get out on your property and do it by hand. Now here's another big tip. Save this paper. Tape it up in your cabinet so you don't lose it. Also, it's a good idea to snap a photo of it and save it on your phone for future reference when you're out shopping. With an accurate number in the back of your brain, you can go shopping for whatever product you need for your lawn. Take this first step and you'll be on your way to a better lawn. Well, Garage Gear guys and gals, that's how I create a lawn layout and measure my lawn. For more cool lawn care videos, check out my links down below in the description. Do you know someone that's putting down way too much fertilizer on their property and wasting too much money on fertilizer they don't need? Then please share this video with them and help me grow this channel. Don't forget to follow me further at Garage Gear JB on Instagram. And if you found this video helpful, give me one of these. And if you are feeling the vibe and you want to be part of the tribe, subscribe so that way you can stay up to date with everything going on here at Garage Gear. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the garage. 26 feet. Hold up, today is July 14th, 2021. It's also National Tape Measure Day. These Pittsburgh tape measures are awesome and accurate. They're even Jimmy's Garage approved. Be sure to check out his channel on YouTube. I'm gonna send this tape measure over to him. Why? Because it's Garage Gear approved. Look at that, it fit perfectly. It was like it was meant to be there. Happy National Tape Measure Day to you, Jimmy, and to all you other Garage Gear guys and gals.